Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful. In today's video, I am going to be going to Primark. I'm going to two Primarks in today's video actually. So I've recently been to the Stockport Primark and also Chester. So I filmed everything whilst I was there and I thought you might want to see what's new in. Um, I got all of the Rita Ora collection in, which was really like, well stocked in a good amount in the Chester store. So come along with me, see everything that's new in, and we'll do a bit of shopping. So starting in the Chester store, this was the Rita Ora collection. I loved so many of these items. There was a few things that I wasn't as keen on, like the pink fluffy coat. Um, this bag isn't really my cup of tea. However, some of the jumpers, so lovely. Yeah, I was really impressed and they had absolutely loads. She'd done more than I thought. Like I thought it was just gonna be like a couple of things, but there was a huge section um, of all different items that she'd done. Jewelry and shoes, bags. Yeah, really, really lovely things. They're a bit daring, aren't they? Like see-through net leggings. I love that blazer as well. This is a little bit odd to me as well um is it like a it's like a scarf top it doesn't have sides on it so i'm guessing you just well i don't really know how you wear that um <laughs> somebody please do tell me some nice little bags as well these shoes though like how high are the heels on these i would absolutely break my ankle on them they do remind me a little bit of my school shoes back in the day though i remember them having a massive heel like that on them also that bag is in black as well she did really nice scarves as well which i'll show in a little bit more detail some of the coats as well just really nice over the knee boots that were about as long as my legs so <laughs> you have to have pretty long legs to wear them because they would come up to my hips but yeah some of the nicest coats ever gorgeous wool ones love all of the check shirts for awesome time i love wearing things like this with just leggings and a vest top it just is a nice casual comfy outfit some more nice boots as well i am on the hunt for some nice knee-high boots with a little bit of a heel but not much of a heel just a little manageable heel because i can't manage big heels anymore and i've got over the knee boots but i just want some that are just knee high um how nice is this as well from the rita aura collection again this aviator jacket really thick would keep you super warm i really like that yeah some of the scarves that she's got she's got that same top thing with no sides but also in pink this is gorgeous as well but I couldn't get it because I've got one that's similar and I'm trying not to buy like multiple things <laughs> of this same sort of coat because um, I've really got a thing for coats. I love a new coat um, and I've got far too many of them and it's difficult to store them anywhere. Um, then just onto some of the puffer jackets and things. I did show in my Primark haul that I bought one of these. I got a green one that's just honestly like a duvet um some of the jumpers and sweaters as well these have got like shirts underneath them so it's just an all-in-one that's really nice as well very similar to one that i've had from h&m that stripy jumper they've also got a lot of maxi cardigans i love a cardigan i love a nice long cardigan i'll just wear them just all around the house as well um like it's like putting on a dressing gown but you don't feel silly having one on in the middle of the day or if you're answering the door then <laughs> it's not too bad but yeah i will always have something like that on over whatever i'm wearing if i'm a little bit chilly i also picked up that white jumper for £15 in my last Primark haul. I just really find it a good one for tucking into skirts and things and it not being too thick. Um, it just goes under coats nicely as well. I love this. I love the little stitch detail around the outside of uh, the arms and the neck. There's so many combats. They are obviously made a full comeback. Um, I do have a couple of pairs of combats but I don't wear them very often but there's absolutely loads in Primark. Then onto all of their bags. I do love a Primark bag. I think they have so much choice. All really good value for money as well. Um, this was also the Rita Ora range so very similar to the pink coat. She's got all 
pink accessories for winter i really like this it was so soft as well i kept looking at that scarf thinking should i get this and um, that's like a balaclava the one that's in my hand but the the actual scarf i think is so nice and soft um yeah all perfect for winter you got leg warmers hats earmuffs scarves all of it i'm a big big fan of that i love these as well like the softest bags that are just made of like really fluffy material also love these as well it's my kind of bag my kind of color they also had a couple of ponchos i love them all looks expensive um you can look really stylish i like i like this whole range in primark i like the black bag a lot they've also got loads of berets as well i feel like i might have to add a beret to my wardrobe i do love a nice hat in the winter i find having a hat on is so good when i'm doing the school run in the mornings and i haven't had time to do my hair i do love a nice woolly hat that i can just stick on my head um and i get really cold as well so i just find hat weather is a good time of year for me these are really nice as well these bags with the gold detail on them also love some of these like more sophisticated gloves i might get myself like a like a nice pair of gloves this year um gorgeous scarves i love a scarf as well like a really big scarf i like it to feel like i've got a blanket around my neck when i go out the house um i didn't rate the shoes that much they've got a lot of the similar stuff like they've always got all these different trainers these i i'm not a fan of i really apologize if you're looking at them thinking they're really nice but i just could not believe the heel on them they are huge i think they were about three pound they were reduced um, I do like these though, they look like they'd be manageable and nice and comfortable because that's kind of what I look for now when I do look for a pair of heels, like will I be able to walk in them? And sometimes I can't believe what I did used to be able to walk in that I just would, there'd be no way now. Um, how nice are these boots as well? I love the ones with the little wedge heel on, I think they look like they could be quite comfortable as well. These are really nice, um, I'm very tempted to invest in some Doc Martens because everybody I know that's got a pair of Doc Martens absolutely loves them and wears them to death. Um, so I think that might be an investment I make at some point and get myself a nice quality pair of Doc Martens. Um, I just don't know which ones to go for. But I do love a boot. I'm very much a big boot wearer in the winter and autumn. They had loads. Um, loads of different colours. I like an ankle boot as well. I also love this style of shoe. Like I love a little um, brogue style one or a slipper one. I find these nice with a pair of jeans. Um, they can just make an outfit look a little bit more dressy. And I've had loads of this kind of shoe from Primark before. I've got some very similar ones to this one that I'm holding in my hand from, I think it was from ASOS. And yeah, I love that kind of shoe. I think it's a really pretty little accessory for an outfit a shoe like that then just looking at the pajamas they had loads of these big hoodie ones not particularly my thing i'm not a big fan of disney pajamas um but i did end up buying some pajamas i i think actually i was looking at this and hoping i could find this bed set in white because i think i want to get some white fluffy bedding i think this is the year that i'm going to get myself some really plush bed covers but i could not see it in white um so some of the Christmas stuff is creeping in as well, which I am very excited for. I have enjoyed their autumn range and they still had some nice like pumpkin bits in. But yeah, I love to see all the Christmas bits. I'm slowly but surely starting to sort of get in the, get in the mood for it now the weather is getting a little bit cooler. This throw is really nice as well. Um, they had loads of different colours of these. So a really great place to get things like that from. I was really confused when I was looking at this because now I'm looking at it, I can see that it was Mickey Mouse. But when I looked at it originally, I thought it was just like some abstract drawing because I was looking at it upside down. But yeah, they always have loads of Disney stuff in Primark, don't they? <laughs> but yeah, nice candles as well. Like I always love Primark's candles. These little decorative trays are really nice. Um, it's like a set of two this is really nice as well this autumn wreath um i've seen that in a few different stores you can still get your hands on some of their autumn bits like i say and i really like these i think they had these last year these little artificial christmas trees that are just wrapped in like a little hessian sack which are just look really cute in the window a couple of them um some more candles i always think these would make just perfect gifts for somebody they always look really expensive i think and they have nice strong scents i did end up buying a nice autumn candle 
and I love these little pumpkin ones as well so cute they also had some hand warmers i bought some hand warmers on my last trip to primark i think they will come in so handy just to keep in my pockets in the mornings then just some more pajamas i love these um really expensive looking how nice are those stripy ones i think they look really pricey 20 pounds you could give them as a christmas gift i think pajamas are always a, like a, a win-win and then just moving in to a different store now i am going to to show you a little bit around the Stockport Primark for things that I spotted. So starting with the homeware in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed with their homeware section. I was quite surprised because to me it seemed like it was quite a big Primark, but the actual homeware section was really, really small. Um, it was just like a little corner. So there wasn't loads. They did have some nice bits though, but there just wasn't loads of it. These little fur rugs are always good. I have like 5,000 of them in my house, just all over the place. I put them on the arms of chairs. Um, just, they're on just anywhere I can put one. I just feel like this time of year as well, it just really makes the whole place feel so much cosier. I love these fabric pumpkins as well. Really nice um, and soft and I like the color of them as well. Then some of the kids accessories, like these are all good for obviously for school, um, backpacks. My kids are obsessed with water bottles and Dylan in particular is really big into his stationery. So I know that is gonna be so good for stocking fillers for him this year because he just loves, he's very much like me where he loves all different kinds of stationery and he just goes around taking mine all the time and notebooks as well he loves and how cute is this like it's a nice padded notebook for three pound um they had did have some really cute little stationery bits then with the clothing i just had a bob around a bit of everything so they had loads of nice like casual sweatshirts like this um, i love that color green on the san diego jumper actually um another really nice check shirt which i think is a great one for autumn this is really nice as well i do like a high neck top like especially when the weather cools down um, and it's also i find it really good to have a high neck one when i haven't done my fake tan um, <laughs> so that's always a good one for me to cover up my neck if my foundation is slightly darker than the rest of me because i haven't done my fake tan but yeah they had some really nice things so big oversized sweatshirts which i'm all about yeah it's for really inexpensive as well how nice is this as well it's like a crinkly oversized shirt i actually got the dress that was in that snake print material and um there was another one i got as well so if you haven't watched my primark call then go and give that a watch but yeah these are nice as well this is like a smock dress i like the color green that it is i love this color green and black together i always think looks really nice I wasn't sure about these though. I don't think I could make them work. They were like a velvety suede um, pedal pusher sort of legging. Hard to explain really. Um, this is really cute. This is like a suede green skirt for £10. I do really like that. I don't know why I didn't get that. I did end up getting this dress, which I wasn't sure was going to look nice, but I actually went to the changing rooms, which I never do, but I thought I'm going to have a little try on of some things. And I thought actually with some trainers and things, it would look really nice. Um, those are that style trouser again. I'm just not sure that they would be very flattering um, on me anyway. I also got the green dress as well, which is a nice long maxi dress with long sleeves, which I think I'll, is just really good for autumn. Some more pajamas as well, some really nice pretty sets, lots of shorts and cami tops still. But then like I say with Primark, I always love that they do like one particular material or one style and then they do loads of variations of it. So you can have like a whole set that you can mix and match throughout the year for when the temperature drops like you can get the trousers and in the summer you can wear the shorts and a lot of these i have got now like this stripey set i've got the trousers and the shorts it's like a brush cotton and it is so soft and i love that you can get all different um variations of tops and bottoms to pair together then there's some more of these big hoodies what are they called are they called oodies or something like that i guess actually it would be quite a good one for the kids this year i bet they would love one of them because toby always loves a onesie um so yeah maybe i'll get the boys one of them each this year for christmas they've got some nice bits for the gym as well i love the little um 
headphones i also really liked these sports socks it's a nice color green that is i love the the whole set would be really really nice for the gym if you're a gym goer um i'm actually deciding to rejoin the gym soon it's been a while and even when i did go it was a very poor effort but maybe i should invest in some nice new gym wear and that will encourage me to go and use my membership a little bit more um <laughs> they've got some nice oversized band t-shirts as well this i actually have in the cream color and i very nearly got it in black and i thought no we've got one don't get another one but they are a really nice like sheer high neck top to just go over a vest top or something or just over a bra if you're feeling you know brave or like for a night out that would be nice yeah they've also got it with um slightly longer sleeve and like a bodysuit loads of nice stripy cardigans and jumpers as well this is really nice isn't it 13 pound for this um jumper dress all very similar to ones that h&m have 17 pound for this one i love the the gold buttons on the arm nice little cardigans i very nearly got this as well this little gray jumper for 13 pound i could imagine that looking nice with like a little leather skirt and some boots nice long cardigans again and then i just had a little film of the shoes this section again wasn't very big in the stockport store like a really small selection of shoes and things um slippers are always good though great for gifts again for christmas they had a very nice selection of slippers can't go wrong with them and also these for nine pound why i didn't get them i don't know also some very furry platform ones as well give you a little bit of height with those slippers the boots were all very similar to the ones that i showed in chester i don't think there's any there that they haven't got in that store um great selection though absolutely loads of color choices heel choices again a great selection of knee-high boots i'm going to want some in every color this year i think also they had a good little luggage section actually like some really nice weekend bags and bags that would be perfect for like you carry on on the on the on the airplane these are nice as well i like the color love the berets again and these bags that i showed in the chester store i am always drawn to a nice fluffy scarf some of them look really expensive as well i think i always think they look nice with a wool coat um it just can really make your outfit just look that little bit more stylish they had some really nice jewelry in this one actually um because sometimes i find different primarks a little bit hit and miss with their jewelry selection but i found the stock put one had some really good pieces yeah i ended up getting these cuff earrings for two pound fifty i've just not fully worked out how to put them in my ears yet <laughs> I thought this camel coat was really nice for £27 and obviously Macs are everywhere and they had some in Primark. I've also heard loads about the tops with the bras built into them. I really should have got myself one. I don't know why I didn't. Um, how nice is that colour of pink as well on that blazer? I think that's a really nice shade. Yeah, I always love a nice casual blazer. I will wear them with trainers and jeans and i always think it's a really nice um outfit to put together they had these as well and i was really disappointed because i tried them on and was hoping that they'd be really flattering and like a nice casual trouser but they didn't suit me at all but um the shorts and the blazer together would be a really nice outfit that looks really comfortable as well that shirt yeah they also do the same trouser but in a camel color but yeah just didn't suit me at all but yeah, there we go. That is everything that I saw in the Stockport and the Chester Primark. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed having a little shop with me around Primark. I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you want to go and watch the Primark haul, try on haul that I did, then make sure you go and give that a watch. That was my last video before this one. And yeah, I would absolutely love to see you again for my next one. Bye everyone.